Yeah, well, you know, I've, I've had a lot of great years with Yamaha in the past and Super Sport and Super Stock. And so, uh, yeah, I'm, I'm really, really happy that uh, we put it all back together and we can uh, get back on this, on, get on this monster tag performance Yamaha and uh, get to work. We got some testing coming up here pretty soon. And so it'll be, it'll be awesome to just get, get on the bike and get to riding. And uh, luckily I'll be doing a lot of training in the off season, riding a lot of dirt bikes and mountain bikes and doing my thing. So we'll be ready to go. Jake Gagne spent the past two years jumping between World Superbike and Moto America. Riding with a new team in 2019, Gagne continually improved his results on the Shabe Racing BMW, scoring several top five finishes by the end of the season. For 2020, he was rewarded with a ride on the factory Yamaha team and looks to reinstate his speed and dominance as a rider. Gagne will be lining up with Cameron Bobier, who won the 2019 title at the final round in Alabama against rival Tony Elias. The Yamaha duo look to be amongst the strongest pair to be teammates after the departure overseas for Garrett Gerloff. It's an opportunity of a lifetime. I've always dreamed of riding for that, that factory Yamaha team and being able to race against those guys for all those years. With that type of experience around us, that type of team, we'll really put it together and we'll have some good races. I'm sure it's going to be some killer battles next year. I'm looking forward to being teammates with Cam and uh, putting on a show in the Motor America Superbike Class. Please don't fake it. Show me what you're all about. Please don't fake it. Fake it. Fake it. After winning the 2019 British Superbikes Moto3 Championship, youngster Brandon Posh looks forward to 2020 as he moves on to the GP2 category in hopes of carrying his momentum to the top step. Yeah, so 2019, I went out and won the British Superbikes Moto3 Championship, and uh, it was a really great year for me, a good stepping stone into next year into Moto2 and, and stepping up a class. And it's given me a lot of confidence because I went out and won about half the races this year and finished off the podium in one race. And more or less, like every race that I finished, I was on the podium. So it was a really good year and, and my confidence is really high coming into 2020. And I'm looking to, uh, to make it another big year. And yeah, it's just been solid. <laughs> Give me a second, I'm trying to select the appropriate weapon, uh Watch where you stepping, them snakes all around, you know they connected, uh When I was a kid, my grandmama told me I can't go to heaven So I stopped praying and asking for blessings and started preparing for my I'ma get it, got nothing to lose, I'm all in Walking the ends, don't fall in, enough of the lies Don't apologize, I don't understand, are you foreign? This is the place, this is the site, grab all your people and log in I'm waiting, don't care how long it's gonna take Watching the waiting for that first mistake, coming alive I know you thought it was finished I know you think I'm a cynic But you know this shit only business People like different as soon as you win it Man, I know this shit ain't no different You pull up in cars, you act like it's yours But we know that shit have just rented Benefited it down, we the ones that your mommy wants You about shit have stayed in the house Don't open your mouth, we lurk in the swamps Like being in the south, so count your days Hold up, let me count the ways you gon' pay When I spot you, I'm coming straight through To your face, no full place So don't come up missing Don't get it twisted I'm not Rihanna, but boy, you a gunner, you right on my hit list.
A new addition to Pasha's program is the implementation of the W training facility into his daily routine. Yeah, so being out here in California, um, staying in Marietta and training at the W training facility, it's been great so far and uh, it's it's kind of pushing me to new limits. I mean, I'm, I'm training with some of the best guys in the world and in all sports, really. Um, I mean, we got really good super bike riders, MotoGP riders, motocrossers, like there's just, everybody's out here and uh, it's, it's good training with these guys and it's just a different lifestyle. It, it kind of, uh, it just makes you want it more, you know? And um, yeah, we, we got good supermoto tracks out here, good moto tracks and just all around, it's, it's a good area for training, so. I see you, Alex. You a fool for this. Appreciate that one. S. I think it's time to put them in their place. I'ma have to set them straight. You don't know me. You don't know where I'm from or what I had to do to get this play. Hey, let me paint a picture. Everybody dissing. Acting like it wasn't cool to listen. Now look at me. I say, now look at me. Let me get it started. Yo. I've been the dumbest since day one, said I went to sport. Then my mama said, pray, son. I ain't got no hidden motors, I'ma get a bullet, fill it with some folders, then pull that pussy until they wake up. Straight up, the illest out the funk. Illustrate my life, they gon' feel it when they thump. I'm about to vent as they come. With high class trainers in Pasha's corner, his international endeavor in 2020 will be one of the next great hopes for American racing. Why all y'all acting like? Y'all be living like it ain't no afterlife. I'm tired of the week. Listen here, I end your whole career if you sneak this, peep this. People ain't understand I'm a prodigy. Now they saying you gotta see, but I ain't really with apologies. Now I Thanks for watching American Racing. Take a look at some of our best moments. We had some some bad luck and <laughs> at least like if you're gonna be in the video, be in the video. <laughs> All right. Beep. <laughs> Restart. <laughs> Umbrella girls. <laughs> Started epic, man. I was fastest in the first two sessions. I uh, got pole position, my first ever, which was which was two thumbs up. Like I was super happy about that. First in the race one, I was uh, that freaking guy. Okay, so state your name, your age, and have you ever done porn before? Alright, my name's Toby Kamsuk. I'm 16 years old, and yes, I have. I was in class here for Moto America. Uh, what up, everybody? I'm the coolest mother here. Oh, yeah. <laughs> that was like two of my comp. Two of my. Uh, now I'm all f***ed up. <laughs> Way to go, Andrew. Now I, get, now I can't f say it. Yeah, man, you gotta go out there and uh, we gotta sing us a country song. We gotta bring some South Carolina out here to uh, just this California track, you know. Watch out. It's gonna get wild. Brady Note right here, uh, he's uh, doing a... Uh, uh, <laughs> <laughs> yeah, so we're out here, so no worries. <laughs> right here, August something, and I uh, hope to see some of you guys there. What's up, John? Because you can't get one? Because I can't get one. <laughs> I mean, I could have get a uh, number one, though. Like a little bit more. A little bit more. I'll make it break a little bit more. Oh, there you go. I got it. Yeah, yeah. Oh, fuck. <laughs> oh, yeah. <laughs>